Be gracious to me, Sovereign God, according to your loyal faithfulness and goodness. According to your great love and mercy, wipe away my transgressions. Thoroughly wash me from my guiltiness. Pronounce me clean from my sin. Purify me. For I know my transgressions, and I am ever aware of my sin, as it constantly and vividly presents itself to my attention. Against you, against you alone have I sinned. I have performed this evil before your eyes. On account of this, You are right and just when you speak and morally pure in passing your judgment in your condemnation. Behold, I was guilty the day I was brought forth. Indeed, I was guilty of sin at the moment my mother conceived me. And behold, you desired honesty even while I was in the womb. And in that place of security, you were making your wisdom known to me. Cleanse me from my sin and give me the purity symbolized in the hyssop, and I will be clean. Wash me, cleanse me, and I will become whiter than snow. Cause me to hear joy and the cries of jubilation, so that these old bones that you have crushed may rejoice again. Avert your face from my sins and wipe my guilt from your memory. Sovereign God, create for me a pure heart and make anew in my inner man a frame of mind that is steadfast and true. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take from me your holy, life-giving spirit. Restore to me the joy of your deliverance, and sustain me by giving me a ready and willing spirit. I will teach your ways to those who are disloyal, to those who are rebelling. And by learning from my example, the sinners will come back to you. Sovereign God, save me from the guilt of bloodshed, for you are the God of my salvation. My tongue will jubilantly proclaim your saving justness. My Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. For you do not desire a sacrifice, or I would give it, nor will you accept a whole burnt offering. the sacrifice you desire, Sovereign God, is a spirit of brokenness and humility, a heart that is no longer self-reliant, and 
that is humble and contrite. Sovereign God, this you will not despise. This is the way that you regard. Because of the pleasure you have taken in Zion, deal well with her. Rebuild the walls of faith in Jerusalem. Then you will take pleasure in sacrifices made from the right spirit, whole burnt offerings, the entire sacrifice. For then the bulls may be presented upon your altar.